You are looking at a live picture from our Roanoke, Virginia Tech, Carillion Sky Cam. Hazy sun for us across the Roanoke Valley with some cloud cover around, certainly, but the worst of the weather north of the Roanoke Valley. Let's head on over and show you the radar picture. Again, the highlands of southern Shenandoah. That's where we're going to see the worst weather here over the next couple of hours or so. It's raining cats and dogs right now in Monterey, in Highland County, south into parts of Bath County, even parts of Allegheny County, Rockbridge County now seeing a cell just outside of the city of Lexington. And We've got actually just issued from the National Weather Service moments ago a new severe thunderstorm warning in effect for this part of Nelson County areas and around Lovingston East Branch Loop. It looks like Freshwater Cove Lane Oak Ridge Road areas right along Highway 29. Severe thunderstorm warning for this cell in central Nelson County until six o'clock quarter size hail. Damaging wind in excess of 60 miles per hour. This is drifting to the east at 5 to 10 miles per hour. More in the way of some very heavy rain out across parts of Highland County, Cow Pasture River Road, uh, Nelson Draft, Hupman Valley Road, dealing with uh, uh, some torrential rain. Also quite a bit of thunder and lightning. Small hail possible in this cell as well as this is also moving to the east at around 10 to 15 miles per hour. Future tracker showing that at 7 there will be a higher concentration of showers and thunderstorms than what we have out there right now. Again, the worst of the weather should be north of the Roanoke Valley. I am cautiously optimistic that by 10 or 1030 we're going to see the rain exiting for the time being and then tomorrow starts dry with skies partly sunny in the afternoon clouds build and then after about 2 2 30 we're going to have another chance for some scattered thunder showers. That chance for scattered thunder showers will likely linger into the evening hours on on Tuesday and then as we head into Tuesday night after midnight we're going to start to see this activity wind down a little bit. Then Wednesday should be a day where we're pretty overcast and we're going to deal with off and on showers, perhaps even a few storms on Wednesday as well. Wednesday could be a day where it could even rain in the morning. You need to know that tomorrow. I think we're dry in the morning. Wednesday it may rain in the morning with the rain becoming a little more widespread in the afternoon. Now on Tuesday, we are in a marginal risk for severe weather. This is a level one, say into the highlands and also into the southern Shenandoah with the worst of the uh, severe weather threat staying to the north of us once again into areas near, say, Winchester. But if we are to have a strong to severe thunderstorm, the main threat would be damaging wind and large hail as we're just going to be in a very unsettled pattern here over the next seven days. Reason is several. One, we've got a stationary front to the north. Two, we've got a low pressure system situated near the uh, panhandle of Florida. And three, we have a high pressure system situated off the coastline of, say, South Carolina. Uh, this high pressure is just going to kind of block everything from moving. OK, so what you see is what you're going to get here over the next several days. This tropical moisture is going to move in from the south because of that low near the panhandle of Florida. What that's going to do is bring in waves of heavy rain here for about the next five to maybe even eight days or so. But today it was hot. We're eventually going to cool down a little bit, but today was hot. 89 in Lynchburg, 92 South Boston, 91 Roanoke, middle 80s out across the New River Valley. So pretty hot in areas to the south of us, although the cooler is trying to filter in a little bit farther down to the south. And that cooler may try to work in here by midweek. So for tonight, showers and thunderstorms end. We're warm and humid with some fog lows in the 60s, maybe even approaching 70 in a few spots. Tomorrow, hot again, but not as hot as today. Temperatures in the 80s for the most part may stay in the 70s towards the higher elevations. And tomorrow looks unsettled. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday look unsettled. Temperatures will fall into the lower 80s Wednesday and Thursday, upper 70s to near 80 Friday and Saturday, low to mid 80s Sunday and Monday. Every day for the next seven to eight days, showers and thunderstorms will be around, especially during the heating of the day.